So nice to meet you, Soda. Nice, and, uh, nice to meet you. Congratulations on the extraordinary body of work that you've produced over the last few years. I mean, it's just ah. so touching and so moving. Tell me, why, why zero? Did you not feel that you said enough in mental? You had to come back again? So this <laughs> is a sequel? <laughs> well, um, you know, mental, I w we were only interested in the patients, actually, you know, when we, when we shot mental. But then I realized, I realized, you know, oh, Dr. Emonplo is such an extra, ex extraordinary doctor and person. And uh, so Kyoko and I always wanted to make a film about Dr. Yamamoto. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we were making other films and uh, 10 years has passed since we shot Mento. And one day we learned that, you know, Dr. Yamamoto was retiring next month <laughs> it was 2018 yeah he was retire retiring in march and we learned from his patient actually the mother who lost her child mm -hmm. she she notified me you did you do you know that he's retiring next month why don't you yeah why don't you make you should make a sequel that's what he, she said to me. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, <laughs> I mean, this, this is probably the only chance to make a film about him. You know, we always wanted to make a film about him. I mean, actually Kyoko, Kyoko immediately contacted Dr. Yamamoto to get permission. And he said, well, let me think about it for two weeks. <laughs> And uh, after two weeks, we, we called again. And he said, well, I, I don't know if I'm worth filming, but if you want, you know, you're welcome. So here's a film, the narrative is interesting because, um, you know, we expected it to be about him, mm. but then you actually kind of spend half of the film with his wife and, uh, yeah. and the best friend of the wife. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, all of a sudden, we come in uh -huh. a completely different direction. What happened mm -hmm. there? Well, I mean, I thought he was the protagonist of the film was Dr. Yamamoto. And, but then when, when I visited his, his place, and uh, saw the interaction between Dr. Yamamoto and uh, Yoshiko-san. I realized, ah, uh, I've been, I, I made a, such a huge mistake when I was making Mento. I totally neglected Yoshiko's role. He, she was such an important person to support the whole project of Dr. Yamamoto and Dr. Yamamoto was the only one who, who was spotlighted. Yeah, my focus <laughs> all of a sudden shifted <laughs> to Yoshiko-san or you know, the relationship between um, Dr. Yamamoto and Yoshiko-san. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a natural it, progression, yeah. It was interesting the way you made it in the film because it really came as a surprise I mean, instead of introducing her slowly and, mm. and creating a parallel between him and her, mm. it was him, him, and then whoop, it was just her. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of, you know, like taken over. So I, I thought that was an interesting editorial decision to, uh, mm. uh, to allow all this space then just for her. I mean, I completely get it why, and I agree. So why not go for a more traditional kind of a bit of ah. him, a bit of her and 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 mm. bring the two together that way? What why why those kind of blocks? Ah because because that's how I experienced it. Um mm -hmm. I think documentary is a is is a form to kind of recreate my own experience 
in a cinematic cinematic language so that I could share it with the audience, right? So the process of me finding out something very important, I also wanted to share that process, you know, with the audience. Yeah, to me, it was a natural structure. Of course, your scenes in uh, Zero kind of are much even longer than the ones uh, you had in, uh, in Mantle. You know, I, I, I used to make TV, TV, TV shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you make TVs, you are kind of, you have this fear to lose the audience, you know, or change the channels. And uh, you are kind of uh, reluctant, you feel reluctant or scared to extend shots for more than like, you know, certain, certain length, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's, that's like in my body, that was in my body when I was making mental. Mm. Uh, I was like half TV director. I mean, my blood, my body was. But as I shot, you know, more films uh, in my own ways, that kind of blood or, 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 I don't know, mindset kind of faded out. And uh, I think uh, now I'm, I'm not scared to, mm. to show um, something something important in a, con con in a in a continuous shot for example the first shot of zero mm -hmm. it lasts for 10 minutes mm, yes <laughs> without any yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah and uh i think I, w if i was um kazuhiro soda when i when i was making mental i was probably too scared to do that Mm -hmm. but now I don't I don't feel scared and uh, I feel joy <laughs> doing it <laughs> so, so that's why we get even more kind of struggling cats kind of you know in uh, uh, in, in your show <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to tell me there's some nice cats in in Japan surely you always go for the old dirty ones <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's been such a, a pleasure talking to you. And yes, you, it was my pleasure. Once again, thank you so much for such beautiful films and they will be there to be watched again and again. <laughs> thank you, Noel. <laughs>